All right, guys. So in this training, I'm going to show you how hackers create crypto wallet connect websites that are used, you know, to collect cryptocurrency uh, wallet phrases and information. So in this training, I'm going to show you what the hackers know so that you will not fall a victim of hacking, right? So um, it's a very simple thing. So the first thing they do when they want to create this kind of cybersecurity website is to ensure that they purchase a domain name and hosting. And, you know, below this video, you are going to see a a link to um, to Bluehost. I highly recommend Bluehost in case you want to practicalize it. I highly recommend Bluehost for you to uh, buy hosting and domain. So you are going to see uh, um, um, a link under this video. It's my referral link right under this video for you to just click on the link directly. It's going to take you to the Bluehost um, website, right? When it's taking to the Bluehost website, all you have to do is what? You click on host a site, right? You click on host a site and you can go with this package. This is a smaller package, right? So let me just click on the package. The package is good enough for you to host this kind of website. So you can just do something like wallet. You see that Wallectify connected. dot com all right so when you uh, come in how you have to do was um it's just to what uh click next and you search if that domain name is available so as you can see the domain name is available so all you need to do is just go ahead and fill up these information right go ahead and fill up this information remove all of these you don't need all of these just remove them remove all of these you don't need them and um, remove all of these you don't need them right so just go ahead, then you're going to pay that $5 and put your credit card and purchase this domain name and hosting, right? As you can see, it's available. Now, when you purchase this domain name and hosting, they're going to supply you with a username and a password, right? They're going to supply you with a username and a password. So when you get a username and a password, all you have to do is just ensure that you log in to your cPanel, right? So when you log into your cPanel, the next thing you have to do is what? Just go to... Um, uh, your uh, search bar just search for file manager right so you just search for file manager so when you see the file manager all you have to do you want just click on the file manager and the file management area is going to open for you where you have to upload your files to is the is called the word the public underscore html so this is the public underscore html don't worry about the files i'm going to show you how you can get the files i'm going to give you access to get this file in the case you need this file you want to practicalize it or you want to redo this on your own so i'm going to show you how you can get the file at the end of this video right so don't worry about the file so this is um um your, your file manager and you can see i already have a lot of files inside my file, file manager because i have some website on my file manager so for you you may not see anything in your file manager if you are just purchasing this hosting for the very, very first time so all you need to do is just click on this upload button and upload your script directly right just upload directly so i'm going to click on this upload button and upload my script so i'm going to uh, choose files i have the files on um, somewhere around So these are the files. So I'm just going to upload this file, right? So I'm going to tell you how you can get this file. The file is a very small file. It's just less than six megabytes. And in less than one hour, you get this file uploaded, right? You get this file uploaded to your file manager and your cPanel. So let's just wait and see if this file is going to get uploaded. And I'll tell you the next thing that you have to do. So like I said, this will not take you less than 10 minutes to get set up, right? It's not going to take you less than 10 minutes to get set up. And the reason why I'm showing this is that you have to know what the hackers know so that you will not fall victim of being hacked because this is rampant everywhere now. Cryptocurrency is the order of the day in today's world, most especially this new year 2022. Cryptocurrency is going to take over everything is going to take over our system is going to take over our business is going to take over our life it's going to take over business transaction so a lot of people are embracing the crypto technology um, um, um industry and there is always need to do one or two things which they are crypto wallets and this is the reason why if you create this kind of website or people that create this kind of website they always get victim who want to um retrieve uh their wallet phrase who forgot their wallet phrase 
and all of that. So when you upload the website, when you're uploading the file, just make sure that you see green, right? Just make sure you see green. Right? You see this as turned green, right? So I'll just go back right here. Then I'll just go look for the file. This is the file. So I'll just right click on the file that it is a zip file. Right click on it and I'll click on extract. Then I'll click on extract. Awesome. So the file has been extracted, right? The file has been extracted into my crypto wallet folder. Can you see that? So this is the file here that has been extracted into my crypto wallet folder. So for you, you have to move this file inside your public underscore HTML. But me, I'm just going to leave this inside this folder because I already have a lot of files under my public underscore HTML. But in case you want to do it, and if it's a fresh hosting, this is how you do it. Just double click on this because you don't need that. All you need to do is just click on select. Then you click on what move. Then you remove this here, right here. Can you see that? You remove this from here. Just make sure it's remaining only the public underscore HTML. Then you click on move. All of the files will be moved into the um, public on underscore HTML. But like I told you, I don't want to move. So I want these files to remain in crypto wallet. So let's try to see um, uh, what we just uploaded in less than one minute, like I told you. Let's see. So uh, I'm just going to go to my domain, slash crypto wallet so i'm going to press enter right on my system and see if that's going to come up don't forget this takes us less than five minutes awesome awesome can you see that wow can you see that it takes less than five minutes for you to get this up can you see that awesome can you see that this is so so amazing updated so let's go to wallets now let me show you something so when you go to wallets can you see that look at all of the wallet five blockchain ledger trust wallet all of the wallets that you can think of they all are here right all of the wallets are here can you see all of this wallet so can you see that so and let's say you click on this particular let's say trust wallet you click on it so it's going to take you to this where you have to what enter your phrase right so i'm going to show you how you can connect this wallet now to your email even your gmail so that when people come and enter their phrase the information they enter on this um wallet we automatically be sent to your email and you are just going to see whatever they have put on in that phrase and you're going to get their phrase in your email so let's go back to our file manager so all we have to do right is first of all create email so just search for email so i've searched for email i've on email accounts email accounts then i'm going to create an email for that so i'll click on create so i've just call it uh wallet crypt wallet crypto right just call it what wallet crypto so i'm going to click on generate password i will need the password so i'll just copy the password right here so this is the password i'm going to copy the password so let's go back to our file manager our file manager then let me open the crypto wallet folder i'm going to open up the crypto wallet folder and when you open the crypto wallet folder you're going to see a file here called config.php so right click on this file then you click on edit so click on edit again now this is where you have to tell this script to send whatever information you know that is entered on this website to you right so i'm just going to put the password right here so I'm going to put the password right here, and then I'm going to put the domain right here. So I'm going to put the domain right here. So this is the domain. You have to put the domain name that you purchased, that you're doing this from. I will put it there. But make sure you remove HTTP. Don't, you don't need to put HTTP, right? So just let the domain be like this. So let's go back to the email that we have created. So let's just um, finish creating the email. The email has been created. So this is the email wallet. So I'm just going to copy this email. I'm going to copy this email. Then come to my config file again. Then I'm going to put this email right here. Can you see that? I'm going to replace this email right here. And I'm also going to replace this email right here. Awesome. Can you see that? So when you do that, you just click on save changes. That is all that you need to do. That is all that you just need to do. So let's go back to our website and then let's um, refresh our website. So let's refresh our website and test this to see how it works, if what we actually did work. So I'll just go to wallets, right? So these are all of the wallets. So uh, let's say um, I want to retrieve my phrase for Coinbase. For Coinbase, I'll just click on Coinbase and I'll enter my phrase.
All right. So let's say this is my phrase, right? So I'm just going to click on what? Submit. Awesome. Can you see that? I just click on what? Submit. So you see the message that uh, your wallet is being what? Imported, right? You see the message that your wallet is being what? Imported. So let's go and check the email if that phrase that we actually entered went to that particular email. So the people entering the information do not really know that the information they enter has gone to your email. So but you have successfully what? Capture that information. So let's just go to the email and check. Uh, the email is a wallet crypto, so I'm going to click on check mail. So I'm going to click on check mail. Then um, let me just open. So I'm going to open that. Awesome. So can you see that Coinbase wallet form? Awesome. Can you see that Coinbase wallet form? So if I click on this right now, can you see that you have received a new entry P only? Here are the details. See a phrase. This is can you see the phrase? Awesome. Awesome. Can you see the phrase? So any information you enter, the phrase is just going to be sent to you. Let me try one more wallet. Let me just try something like uh, maybe for uh let me try for let me try for uh, another wallet. So the first one we did was for trust wallet. So let's try for uh, blockchain, right? So I'll click on blockchain and I'll enter the wallet phrase. Can you see that? Then I'll click on submit. Can you see that your wallet is being what imported? So let's go back to the email one more time and check this. So I raised my email, so I'm just going to refresh this. So let's refresh that. Can you see that? Before I go refresh this, this has landed. Can you see that? If I click on it again, I see you have received a new NPP only. Here are the details. Can you see that? This is a wallet phrase taken and sent to your email. So you can see in less than five minutes, I have been able to show you how you can create this cybersecurity website that people use to collect wallet phrases. Like I said, you need to know all of these things so that you know what the hackers know. Because when you know what the hackers know, you will not be hacked. Now, lastly, before I say goodbye to this training, I'm going to also show you how you can connect this wallet instead of connecting this wallet to your web me, you can connect it to your Gmail, your Yahoo me, or your AOL email. So all you have to do is, well, let's go back to our C panel, so let's go back to our C panel. All you have to do is what? Forward that. So let's click on forward. So let's search for forward that. Uh, it should be so forward that. Now, forward that, look at the way forward that works. It means that you may not be able to start logging into your um, Gmail or uh, your webmail all the time. So you want that any information that is sent, right? Any information that is sent to that. Um, uh, wallet that you created any information that is sent to that wallet that uh, email that you created so what's the image just now wallet crypto can you see that any information sent to wallet crypto let me copy that i want that information forwarded to my gmail right so i'll just go to um this is it then any information sent to okay i'll click on add forwarder uh, so any information sent to wallet crypto at this domain should please be forwarded to this email, right? And I'll click on what add forwarder. So can you see that all emails sent to wallet, which is this one, will be what copied to this particular one. Can you see that? So let's go back to our site again and um, let us just enter one of the information. You see that all of the information, all of the uh, information that is sent to that particular email will also be forwarded to our Gmail. So let's just try that out. So I click on wallet again. So this time around, I'm going to use um, trust wallet, right? So let me use trust wallet. So I'll click on trust wallet and I'll enter. Can you see that? So I'll click on what submit. Awesome. Can you see that your wallet is being imported? So first of all, let's confirm if the email actually landed here. So what we're gonna do is what? Let's just refresh this, right? Awesome. Can you see that trust wallet form? So if I click on this now, you see the phrase, it landed right here beautifully and very well. So let us try to check our own email if that actually is there. So let's check that particular email if 
that actually came so i'm going to just go into my jimmy and i want to check if that actually came so let me open up the jimmy i connected that to and see if that actually what came up can you see that wallet crypto <laughs> trust wallet form if I, if I click on this now you see that hello you have received a new entry purely here are the details free this is the trust wallet free and we are testing it gives me a thumbnail if you like this video subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up drop your comment and let me know that you love this video i am giving you this cyber security training for free and this is training that you're supposed to pay thousands of dollars for for you to get right under this video i'm going to put a link and a description on how you want to get this script so in case you want to test it out for yourself you're just going to go right there download this script and test this out for yourself don't miss the opportunity to quickly download and test the script because this script will not be available the way i put it there for a very long time because this is worth millions and thousands and thousands of dollars if you want to get this training from a, um, uh, a cyber security angle you may be asked to pay one thousand dollars and this software will not even be given to you you have to have to pay, pay maybe like 500 to 200 dollars for this particular software but right under this video you can see a link to quickly go and download this video, um, software so that you can try this out for yourself so i'm leaving the link under this video i'm leaving the link under this video just go right here and what and download this uh software you go ahead and try this and also do not forget to use my referral link to purchase your domain name and hosting because if you do that you are going to get this domain name and hosting cheaper and i'm also going to get a commission for this my name is ajayi adivayo and i thank you so much for being my subscriber hit the subscribe now button and thank you and god bless